Hi guys, this is GuyCrush9 with the first extra video of Let's Play Lego Indiana Jones 2. The extra videos will be covering exclusively the creator box, and there are four things inside the creator box, so there are four sub boxes within the box. Level builder, character creator, quick play, and build your own adventure. We're obviously going to be starting with the biggest of these four, level builder. Now, when you first get into here, you'll see a bunch of question marks. There are three sets of 15, so about 45 levels each. So a maximum of 45 levels that you can make on your own. Just select one of them. Here are a few options, but all we can do right now is create, so we'll do that. And really, the only thing we can do right now is tutorial number one. Because everything else, and literally everything else, is locked. So they kind of force you to go through at least one tutorial before you make any levels. So let's jump in. Okay, so, hello, this is the LEGO Creator, we can build and play, yay! So yeah, basically, Oxley is going to help us, um, teach us how to, you know, do creator stuff. So, we have to get rid of these balloons. In order to do that, press X next to the balloons, and then go down to delete, and then there you go. So yeah, our first challenge is to delete all five of these balloons. So very simple. Now, the cool thing about Creator is that you can have infinite jumps in this place, so... So it'll allow you to get as high as possible. So yeah. So yeah, for balloons that are like this though, you have to hold down X and then target them with that little target thing and then you can access them. Alright, so now that we do that, we have to plant some trees. There's a tree over here, press and hold B right next to it, and we just cloned the tree. <laughs> Ah, so inventive. Now what you can do is, um, if you've interacted with an item last, you can hold down B, and whatever item you had, you'll instantly replicate. So, pretty cool thing. So yeah, then, yeah. Uh, you know what, let's go over here. Let's plant a tree up here, since it's kind of lonely up here now. There we go. Now it's time to try out the level. What you do is press and hold Y, it'll flash test, and then there you are. So yeah, in order to finish the tutorial, you have to collect 2,000 studs, which will activate that little success motor in the back here. The problem is that with these trees, they only give about uh, 100 studs each. So you have to go back into creator mode, or building mode, by holding down Y to build. And so yeah, you need to build more stuff, and um, yeah, this board of trees, build more stuff. So yeah, you can build more props. Uh, we don't care about props, we need studs. So, we're gonna go to special, and looky here, we can make blue studs! As well as silver and gold. So yeah, you can't put studs into uh, items, I believe, but you can at least put regular studs out. So we're gonna put two blue studs. Oh, I can't use these yet. Okay. Alright, so yeah, you can also pause the level and then hit test level in order to, you know, start testing it. Alright, so that thing will activate. The door will open, and there we go! We've completed tutorial level one. Hooray! We've unlocked the new builder character too. And yeah, these builder characters are very important, as you'll find out. One percent. What? All right, let's go back to level builder. Oh God! Open the box. All right. So now that we're going back here, you'll see that everything is unlocked, and you see a bunch of presets are actually unlocked too for all the themes of the movies. And if you actually interact with one of these, like go into an actual bonus level of one of these things and actually change a part of the level, you'll get the achievement wiped clean by the wrath of God. But for now, we're going to go continue with the tutorials with tutorial number two, involving the alien. Alright, so the interdimensional being combined with the UFO ride is responsible for terrain development. Basically, the challenge here is that there are five um, blocks or something, or engines or something, that we have to get out of the water, and then a bunch of fish that we have to get into water. So yeah, lower uh, you lower the land with X, and then raise the land with B. Yeah, make sure that. And you'll you'll see the, uh, at the um, upper corner, uh, you know, at the top there, the check mark will mean that the item is in the water. Now, for here, you have to use cliff mode because you can see like um. That engine block is like right next to the fish, so it's impossible to get both of them, you know, in different things. So yeah, using cliff mode, we got the fish in the water and we got the block out of the water. Cool. So yeah, cliff is how you make very sharp edges and stuff like that. Uh, the regular stuff though will make it, um, you know, even and stuff. Um, 
Yeah, and that's that's the only thing you can do with the interdimensional being. But it's really the only thing you need to do. And I think we just accidentally raised that out of the water. <laughs> Come on. There we go. So yeah, once we do that, we unlocked the interdimensional being for use in builder levels. Cool. Alright, now we're going to get to tutorial 3 with Mola Rom, seriously enough. So Mola Rom is in control of enemies and vehicles. Or I should say characters and vehicles. So uh, select this menu by pressing Y. All we can do here is vehicles, sadly. So, And then there are six vehicles. Let's put a forklift on this one. So yeah, the, the goal is to build a vehicle in each of these four blocks and then run the vehicle onto the vehicle button. And that's all you do for this tutorial. Alright, here we'll put a tricycle. <laughs> because I'm worried about all this water. This water apparently is like incident death to vehicles. Alright, here we can put a uh, ice cream van. Everyone loves one of these things. And then one more area. Oh wow, this one also has water. Oh wow. You know what? Let's go big. Fire truck! Oh yeah! Alright, so now that we got a vehicle in each block, we'll go to test mode. And so now all we gotta do is just drive each of these vehicles onto the buttons. And our tutorial will be complete. Ah, funny, I got the alarm going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a very simple thing, but you have to do these tutorials in order to... Um, I believe you have to do the tutorials in order to access these character uh, people in builder levels because there's four in all you need them in order to do all sorts of special stuff uh, the builder just creates items that we saw in the first one and again interdimensional being does with terrain so yeah so yeah the fourth one um well we'll find out in a sec all right so yeah tutorial complete unlock the new builder character to help make your level and there are only four builder characters ever so you know, don't worry about unlocking any more of them all right, finally, tutorial four with enemy boxer of all characters. <laughs> all right, so enemy boxer is in charge of a, a kind of a small little sect of the base plates. Basically, uh, base plates are little roads that you can put on the uh, land and stuff like that. And what we do for this tutorial is that we put uh, the land, uh, base plates down to cover up the land here. So yeah, it's uh, basically it's are given to uh, give the land a more leguish kind of um, yeah terrain, I guess. You need to uh, uh, fill in all the holes of this uh, road in order to complete this tutorial, though. So yeah, and you can see like where the how the base plate would go down if you were to uh, drop it right there. Just make sure you get a drop the right way. So yeah, two curves and two straights is what we need. And there we go. As soon as you get that, you automatically spawn with Indiana and, uh, and no, Mac. Uh, you can go around here and uh, smash studs if you want. You don't really need to. All you do at this point is you can follow the road or you can't. I'm going to follow the road to be cool. And at the end of this road, there should be a um, button. And once we hit that button, this tutorial will be over. <laughs> yeah, I crashed into the wall. Fantastic. Yeah, that's tutorial complete. So let's go back to the main screen. Four percent complete, and now that we have all four tutorial levels done, we get the achievement. I taught you self-reliance for the obvious reasons. All right, so let's go into level builder in earnest, and we're actually going to build the level this time. Uh, first, we're going to start with an empty level. Uh, I'm going to do this, that, and um, yeah, and select just one random thing. Um, this is not how you get that one achievement, by the way, the, um, what can have the wrath of God. I'm just doing a random bonus level. It, uh, below that, though, were the actual bonus level, super bonus levels from the game. So, in order to get that achievement, you mess around with one of those, because those levels are already preset. So, yeah, that's how you do it. And you can't alter the story mode levels, or the uh, treasure mode levels, because, uh, those are beyond the scope of creator box. Alright, so now that we're here, we start out with the Builder guy, and these little portals here. These portals allow you to test the level, so you have three ways of testing level. Um, yeah, you can move around here, do stuff. Uh, let's move this thing back. It's, oh, oh, no. Let's go. Alright, B to pick up. There we go. 
Um, yeah, alright. The door kind of looks weird when it's sticking out like that. Alright, so yeah, um, what you see is you have a bunch of objects here. Uh, no, we don't want that yet. Alright, the thing is, though, you have to buy all these items, though, and uh, I don't want this. Alright. Um, uh, real quick, though, um, one of these things you'll find here is the uh, scholar puzzle thing. And what you can do is get the achievement, you're a teacher? Part time. By putting 10 scholar um, um, on boards up in this area at once. And I'm just messing with the things right now. Random hills! Let's do that. Oh yeah, sexy. But yeah, put 10 of those uh, puzzles into this area and then put like 10 boys to trigger them. Or no, no, just put 10 puzzles at all. And then go into the level and uh, solve all 10 puzzles and you'll get the achievement. Alright, so let's put one of these down. This looks cool. Yeah, so custom basically. So yeah, there are more than just roads in this. So yeah. The enemy boxer. Uh, what can we do with you? Oh, we're gonna play. Oh, let's put a horse. <laughs> I love horses. Okay, and uh, doesn't look like we have to buy anything with Mola. So yeah, most of the buying stuff you have to do with is with enemy boxer and the builder guy. Um, yeah, random characters. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, let's just skip. I don't need more around. All right, so yeah, let's go build some, buy some more stuff. You have to, yeah, the prices aren't too bad though. Ah, I didn't select you. There we go. All right, so you know what? Um, well, oh wow, we can build purple stuff. <laughs> Funny. Oh yeah, there's the failure rocket uh, firework. That's the thing back in the uh, slave driver cave. Uh, basically, if it activates, then you fail the course. It, we can build artifacts, too! <laughs> you know what? I have a th Oh, that's one of these things. Yeah. What these things... Some of these items will come with one of these things. It's basically a trigger. And what you have to do is you have to put, like, a puzzle or something on top of that in order to activate it. Um... Here, uh, yeah. Switches. Let's get a whip switch out. So, yeah. Do that, and then another a green one of these will pop up. Just connect it to the red one, and when you do that, yeah, you'll see like there's a clock there. That's a time delay. Uh, just leave the time delay alone, I think. But um, yeah, once you connect it, um, once you solve that one thing, that thing will activate. And so now that we're here, let's actually use this thing. And there you go. So yeah, simple as that. Yay. And that's level complete. Now, technically, when you complete a level, you're supposed to get a particular achievement, and that is, and I even like the color, which is create a validated builder level. What I think you have to do is you have to save the level and then actually play the level separately. And then it will say, like, this level has been validated. You can now play it, blah, 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 blah. Now, it's complicated. If I'm not describing it right, um, uh, just go on the internet and Google it. I'm sure there are people I'd be willing to tell you. Yeah, and some of the things you want to be careful about with these items is that sometimes there's actually more than one item within the thing. Like, you saw that treasure chest. I had to buy the regular treasure chest and the silver treasure chest separately. And some of, the, uh, some of these unlocks will actually unlock other things at the same time, too. So it's kind of confusing, but... Or I think, anyways. Yeah, got that. So, yeah, just about bought everything. Now, um... There is something for buying everything, too. You have to buy everything in order to get 100% in uh, creator mode. In order to do that, you have to go to all of the movies. Yeah, just doing that. But um, basically make a level for each of the movies and a one for the super bonus. And then, because there are different items in each one of those movies. So you have to, I don't know why, but you have to go into each movie and then buy everything separately. However, at this point, with the amount of stuff that I have, it's very inconsequential. It's very easy to get. But again, you have to do that in order to get 100% in this game. So yeah. Because yeah, you have to buy stuff. Um, yeah, I'm I'm probably going to cut it off here. This is Guy Christian and I will play like Lagunia Jones 2. In the next video, I will cover the rest of Creator Mode. See you then, guys.